What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Connor Speed 6 here. Today we are back in Forza Horizon 4 taking a look at the all new Forza Horizon 4 Hot Wheels Legends car pack that was just released. This pack is pretty amazing and the cars that come with it are fantastic. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at all of these cars, uh, go through how you can get them in game of course uh, once you purchase the car pack, if you purchase the car pack. Then at the end of the video, we'll go over a small announcement that you definitely don't want to miss, so be sure to watch all the way to the end. Before we get into the video, please be sure to leave a like, a positive comment, and if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more weekly content like this. Let's get into it. So yes, like I said, the Hot Wheels Legends car pack has finally come to Forza Horizon 4 after a few weeks of us waiting. It was announced during the last Forza Monthly live stream and uh, the community has been a little bit divided. Uh, some excited, some meh. Big thank you to everyone at Turn 10 and Playground Games for getting me this car pack so I can get this out and share to the world. So the car pack itself is $9.99 uh, on the Microsoft Store. So what you can do is you can go into your car packs section uh, in the marketplace on your pause screen and that will show you all of the car packs that have ever been released to the game and which ones you own, uh, etc. Now, unfortunately, the game doesn't just populate the cars into your garage, but that's okay. It's really quite simple. All you have to do is go into one of your houses and uh, then you'll have to simply import those cars into your garage, which it's basically immediate. It's very, very quick. So from your main screen here in one of your houses, it doesn't matter which house, you just simply go over to DLC cars. It'll again show you all of the packs that you've purchased. If you've purchased the Forza Horizon 4 Hot Wheels Legends car pack, it will show up here. So you simply click on it. And then at the very bottom of the screen, you see how it shows redeem free cars. You just hit that button and it will ask you if you would like to add all of these cars to your garage, which are the 2018 Hot Wheels 2 Jet Z, the 1972 Hot Wheels Chevrolet Love, the 1969 Hot Wheels International Harvester Lodestar, Co. 1600, the 1957 Hot Wheels Studebaker Golden Hawk Dream Roadster, that sounds amazing, the 57 Hot Wheels Nash Metropolitan, we've all seen that, the 1949 Hot Wheels Ford F5 Dually Custom Hot Rod, which is mental. Once you've done that, you should be able to go back into your car's collection, of course, sort by the manufacturer name, and voila, holy hell, those look fantastic. Wow. So what we'll do is we're just gonna hop in some of them and uh, just drive them around, but first let's look at some of the stats. So we've got the 2 Jet Z, considered a rods and customs vehicle, 639 horsepower, and only weighs 1,740 pounds. That looks very, very promising. However, it is rear wheel drive at the top of S1 class, so it could take a little bit of trickery to keep it within S1 class if you uh, are one of those people that want to throw all wheel drive on it. It is at 7.2 speed and an eight handling. That looks again very promising with an incredible 9.7 launch stock in its rear wheel drive form. The next one would be the 72 Chevrolet Love with a 6.1 speed, 5.2 handling only in B-Class. Uh, it does have 400 horsepower on a rear-wheel drive drivetrain with weighing 3,200 pounds. Could be pretty cool. The International Harvester is a C-Class rear-wheel drive car, 5252 and 6 on the uh, speed and handling. Power of 485 horsepower, weighing only 2,998 pounds. The Chevrolet Love weighs more than the gigantic Harvester. It's got a wing. Now this thing right here is a full-on rat rod. It looks mental. Uh, a B-Class car, 400 horsepower, weighing 4,600 pounds. Again, I don't understand how these are weighing less than the International. 5.6 six speed, 6.5 six handling, looking pretty solid too. The C-Class rear-wheel drive Nash Metropolitan, 6.4 uh, four speed, 4.7 four handling, 350 brake horsepower on a rear-wheel drive drivetrain, weighing 2,250 pounds. The Studebaker Golden Hawk may actually be, in my opinion, the best looking of all of these cars. This is the most sleek and sexy looking thing I've ever seen. A-Class, 528 horsepower. I'll tell you what, with a little trickery, that will be a very, very fast B-Class car. Uh, you just got to know how to tune it properly. 
It may take throwing some ugly wheels on there, but it could be worth it if you can just dominate some B-Class lobbies. Very interesting though. It is a bit heavy at 3,362 pounds, but it has a lot of power. 6-2 uh, speed, 5-3 handling. Uh, so if you're one of those people that can handle some of those really, really strange rear wheel drive cars in low classes, that could be a very, very good one. So we're gonna hop in the 2-Jet Z. What's it look like? Oh my God, that looks ridiculous. Oh my God, that looks fantastic. It's like you're in a fighter pilot or in a fighter jet. All right, let's see how this 2-Jet Z handles. See how it drives. This is again, all stock. Okay, she's got some power. Okay, she's a bit tail happy. Okay. Yeah, that's a very, very tail happy car. Extremely loose at the rear. To make this thing competitive, unfortunately, I think you're going to have to put some Forza Aero on it. It's a handful, I've got to say. While it doesn't have a ridiculous amount of power, it is so light. So you're definitely going to need some Forza Aero on the back of it uh, to keep that back end planted, especially if you're in rear wheel drive because, I, I mean, I just turned in. That's all I did and the back end goes. Uh, so this could be a very interesting car. Uh, let's actually go see what some of the upgrades for it look like. So this is really quite insane. You could actually swap in the 3.0 liter V8 racing engine into this car. You can also throw all wheel drive on it, which immediately jumps at 21 PI, 31 PI. Uh, the biggest thing though, again, was Forza Aero. There is no option for Aero in this car. The only way you're really going to be able to get more grip is if you tune it in because you cannot upgrade tires. The only thing you could do is slap on drag slicks or rally tires. So I'm not really foreseeing this car being that much better when it comes to handling. All right, so let's actually hop into the Studebaker Golden Hawk. This car is gorgeous. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, with the will with disc brakes. God, it's, it's gorgeous. The builder of that car deserves an award. With this car, looks like for the swap, we have a couple different options, the 6.2 liter V8 and the 8.4 liter V10. That is really quite interesting. Of course, we can throw all wheel drive on there to turn this into, I'm sure, an OP McGee and uh, many different additions in the in the way that power goes. As far as Forza Aero, we can actually put the lip spoiler on the back. will help some of the back end on this car uh, to give us some more grip, which is probably going to be pretty important. Otherwise, again, it's just all kinds of different upgrades. I really wish we could keep those white wall tires. Man, that's really disappointing because the stock tires look incredible on this car, but you're gonna have to upgrade these tires if you wanna keep it in A class or higher, I'm sure. Uh, but let's go see what this thing does uh, on the road in its stock form. So this car is A, a class stock. Lots and lots of power low. Uh, second gear is really, really boggy, but that's okay. We're over 100, over 100 miles per hour in second gear. Zero grip, zero turn in grip. Uh, that's a, so this could be a very interesting car as well. God, look at the rake on this thing. Holy cow. It's insane. What does this thing look like? I don't even know what this looks like. It looks like the cross between a Corvette, a bathtub, and a Mazda Miata. That's what it looks like to me. Very, very cool though. It could be a very interesting build. Uh, I'm eager to get some of these meta tuners on these cars to see what it looks like. But let's move on to the next vehicle. All right, let's jump in the International Harvester, see what this thing has got in store for us. It is a C-Class truck with a gigantic spoiler on the back. No wonder it weighs hardly nothing. This thing's gonna be ridiculous. So the first thing, of course, we do is go to the swaps. We've got the 5.2 liter V8 swap and the racing 7.2 liter V8. That is very promising for this car. It jumps an immediate, wow, from 485 horsepower to 850 horsepower with an engine swap. It is rear wheel drive straight off the bat, so you can, of course, install your all wheel drive. Forza Aero, we've got the front lip, looks like it's gonna be, yep, with the canards. And then we've got a, another, oh God, say it ain't so. It's got the Forza rear wing. Um, Let's move on. 
Every other upgrade it looks like is available for the vehicle. So you can of course add grip and tires. Uh, you cannot change the tire width. Uh, so that could be pretty interesting when tuning as well. This truck looks amazing. Look at this. Look at it. It's ridiculous. Sorry. This may be my favorite vehicle in this pack. Am I the only one that is seeing like a proper cross country or off-road racer in this truck? It is absolutely mental. And it's quite grippy uh, in its C-Class form. Once we added six trillion horsepower to it, it would be another story. But this thing, this thing has promise. Uh, it's much more stable than the last two vehicles. Uh, even the Studebaker, you know, felt really, really tail happy. But they were higher, they were higher PI uh, with a little bit more power and but they had a lot more weight. So this, this, like I said, is very promising because it's so light uh, and already pretty grippy. So this could be very interesting. Let's, let's go ahead and hop into the next vehicle now. The Chevrolet Love. Let's see what we've got going on here. And then we've got two more to get to real quick. This is just stupid. It looks like it's off of an old Chevy C10 and it's got a motor the size of Texas in the bed of the truck. This is absolutely insane. That's that's phenomenal. Very, very cool. All right, let's see what the uh, upgrades look like on this car, truck, truck car, etc. You can swap in the 6.2 V8, 8.4 V10, or the racing 7.2 V8. This, this thing has all 850 horsepower. This thing has all the tellings of possibly being the next OP McGee. Golly, especially with all wheel drive in that V8 racing engine. Uh, again, you can of course upgrade tires. You can upgrade the tire width. Uh oh, we even have wheel spacers. Let's go. All right, that's that's very interesting. We're gonna, I think we're gonna most likely be coming back to that one very, very soon. Let's see what it looks like on the road. That's so crazy having the engine behind you. So is this considered a mid engine a rear engine vehicle? 100 miles per hour in second gear. Okay, again, very not grippy, uh, but, but, but with the right build and tuning, this could decimate all. With 10 grand and overnight parts from Japan, this could decimate all. Uh, I'm very, very ready to see some of these meta tuners uh, out here get their hands on these vehicles. Uh, hopefully we can get some very, very soon. I'm, I'm really, really, really interested to see what they do. I'm going to, of course, attempt my own builds, uh, but I think you guys will be seeing some very, very quick tunes uh, in the coming days using these vehicles. But uh, yeah, let's jump into the next vehicle right now. The Ford F5 Dually. I have to say, the people who build these vehicles are off their freaking rockers, and I love it. Look at this freaking vehicle. Look at this. Those are gas tanks. It's stupid. Uh, who builds these things? It's the ugliest, most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's fantastic. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see what option. The seats are basically just nets. Let's see what upgrade options we have for this monstrosity. So we can throw the racing 7.2 liter V8 in this as well, jumping it to 850 horsepower and all wheel drive. So it's definitely a six wheel drive vehicle. Wow, okay, very interesting. Tires, we're gonna have all the options for tires naturally. Wait, we don't have rally tires available for this truck. We've got sport tire, race tire, and drag tire. Now, are these stock tires? Those aren't rally. What they look like is they look like the retro race tire. Hmm, very interesting. Let's see what it does on the road though. Yes, let's go. All the powers. This thing is gonna be hell fun, oh my God. First of all, it looks ridiculous. Second of all, it's really not that heavy. And I think that we will be able to get tons and tons of power into this vehicle with the right amount of grip. Actually, hell, these stock tires feel really grippy. Yeah, it really doesn't want to throw the car, it really doesn't want to throw the back end around too much at all. Uh, we got to work on the brakes, of course. 
This may be my favorite, favorite one in the list. This is so cool. Yeah, okay, I'm, again, I'm, I just, I wonder if it's, so again, they look like rally tires, but I think they're the retro or the, the throwback or whatever they're called, the, the retro race tires. So I don't think these are, are made for off-road, but let's jump into the next vehicle and see what it feels like too. We're almost done. We only got one more. All right, rounding off the list of the Forza Horizon 4 Hot Wheels Legends car pack is the Nash Metropolitan Custom. This thing is quite the legendary vehicle. It's known worldwide. It's got dice on the headers. It looks like a boat that's been flipped upside down with the dumbest stance you could ever imagine. Yes, the back wheels are outside of the fenders. Outside. Outside. It literally looks like a boat that has wheels just bolted to the side of it. It's fantastic. Uh, let's see what this thing looks like in the way of upgrades. The dice on the headers are like the icing on the cake. So we can swap in the 6.2 V8 and the Racing 7.2 V8. Again, taking it up to a max eight, uh, 700, sorry, 850 horsepower. Uh, swapping out rear wheel drive for all wheel drive. In the way of tires, oh, we've got Forza Arrow here. Again, just a rear lip, which that's okay. At least we don't have the gigantic wing. God, it's, it's gargantuan and really quite bad. Uh, the tires, we can do all upgrades to tires. Uh, really interested to see. Oh, you can't widen the tires, though. That's a problem. However, you can make them bigger as if you need 21s on a Nash Metropolitan Custom. Talk about a donk. Very interesting options for upgrades there. Let's see how it feels, though, stock in C-Class. Uh, should be pretty interesting, but let's let's have a look here. Okay, she she does not want a grip at all. Let's go, yo! That was that that's fun. God, even in third gear at mid to high RPMs, this is rough. Okay, this is one million percent fantastic to drive, but it needs more grip in the tires. Uh, again, 90 miles per hour in third gear, and there's no controlling it. It's just, it doesn't want to drive straight. Uh, so this one, this one is definitely going to take some, uh, some real tuning prowess. But I'll tell you what, it could be a hellish drift car. If built properly, this could be the new drift car. Hell, if you kept the stock tires on here and just built and put the right drift modifications on, woo, I bet, I bet it could be a uh, top... 1% drift car, no doubt. I can't even control it. There's no way I can control this damn thing. But that's it. That's the uh, <laughs> that's the Forza Horizon 4 Hot Wheels Legends car pack. Uh, what do you guys think about it? Tell me your thoughts below. I think the cars are really exceptional. Uh, as for a possible DLC map in the future, I'm not quite sure. I don't think that's something we're going to see moving forward, but we never know, of course, until it happens uh, or until AR-12 Nick breaks the uh, news to us early, but we'll see about that. As for the little surprise or announcement that I said, uh, talked about in the beginning of the video, I'm actually going to have a few codes to download this car pack completely free. Special thanks to everybody at Turn 10. Uh, for getting me those codes. They want to get some more people in the community uh, some access to this for free. I'm going to be setting up a couple different things here moving forward to get these free codes handed out to the community. Uh, so if you want to take part and possibly get your hands on this Hot Wheels Legends car pack free, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, drop into my Discord, of course. The link for that is down below. And pay attention to all my social media channels as well as uh, videos here announcing a giveaway here very very soon uh, i will be putting something together very very soon for you so turn the notifications on be sure to hit like on this video drop a positive comment in the comment section below and if you're new around here like i said be sure to subscribe for more weekly content like this as always i have been connor speed six until next time much love everyone see you soon